I have tried a couple of times now to get through this without crying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but this is a quick message that is near and dear to my heart, and I think that it's important to be heard. Tonight was Hockey Fights Cancer at my local AHL team. I'm a big hockey fan, and it's an important cause for obvious reasons. But as I was walking the concourse, where I was reading all the signs of people who had lost loved ones or who were fighting for loved ones who were dealing with cancer, I had a memory resurface of a friend of mine who I lost back in 2016. Amy was somebody that I met at work um, back in my early 20s, and uh, she was just an amazing, amazing person. Even now, I'm hearing her laugh, which just kind of like lit up a room. Um, We didn't know each other so well, but she was the best friend of one of my best friends. And we would see each other at gatherings, um, especially after I left that job. She, we would see each other at gatherings, social events. Um, we would always connect. And then when I got sick with Lyme disease, which was a hell and a suffering all on its own, she was always sending me messages of support and encouragement and uplifting. And she would just say, Susan, thank you for being so honest and vulnerable with your journey. It's helping me on mine. Amy had cancer, and I had known that she was sick before we had talked about it, but we had lost touch, and I didn't know how bad it had gotten until I got news that she had passed. One of the last messages that she had sent me was one of support, encouragement, and love um, after I had myself had relapsed back in 2016. I didn't know that a couple of months later, she would pass away. Amy left behind a husband and two boys and a lot of people who loved her, including my best friend. And I know that it was so hard for my best friend. Um, and it was hard for me as well because I was really struggling with my health and really struggling with my mental health as a result. And so I remember feeling a lot of survivor's guilt, saying, how is it that I'm still here? Why is it that I'm still here? Why did I get to live and she didn't? The thoughts that can be so persuasive in your mind, they're not true. And that's what I want to say tonight. And what I was reminded of, tonight for all of those who are fighting whatever demons that they're fighting whether it's mental illness whether it is illness itself physical illness whether it's cancer whether it's Lyme disease whether it's any kind of other trauma whatever it is that you're dealing with whatever it is that you are fighting just know that you are meant to be here you're meant to be here on this planet and you are so deeply loved you are here You are still here. You are fighting because there is something inside of you that knows that you are meant to be here. Don't give up. Don't give up. And don't ever think that you're not meant to be here. Don't ever think for one single second that this world would be better off without you because you are shining a light in the darkness and just by being who you are, just by being the love and the soul that you are, just by fighting for every breath, for every moment, You continue to shine a light, and even when it feels hard, and even when you want to give up, and even when you don't know exactly what it is that you're doing here, maybe you don't feel like you have a sense of direction, maybe you feel like you don't have a sense of connection, maybe you feel so disconnected from the world and yourself, but you will get through it. You will get through it. You will get through it. You will find yourself again. You will find your place in the world. You are meant to be here for a purpose. You are here for a purpose. You are loved. And those that we have lost are so deeply loved too. Sometimes it's hard to make sense of the hows and the whys of the universe. The hows and the whys of life. But please, please don't give up. Don't give up on yourself and don't give up on each other. You are meant to be here. 
it's hard sometimes to think about it, to think about, well, why am I meant to be here and they weren't? That guilt can eat away at you. That questioning can eat away at you. But you are here for a purpose. You are here for your own purpose. And your purpose doesn't negate anybody else's. Keep shining your light. That is what we're meant to do, especially when we have lost people who are so dear to us. Shine brighter. Love harder. Care more. That is what they want. That is what they want for us to build a better world of more love and more compassion and more care. To make it better. They leave behind a legacy of remembrance and love. So you be the love. You embody the love. Keep shining that light. And stay. I love you all. And we'll be back soon.